We as humans adopt other humans. But did you know that animals do that too? Not only that, but many animals adopt regardless of species or their roles as prey or predators, which just seems like the opposite of what they're supposed to do. In this video, we are going to go over 8 of the most heartwarming stories of animals adopting other animals. So, let's jump right in. First up, lions and leopards typically don't get along that well, since they compete over basically everything. Even though they're both big cats, they rarely ever see eye to eye. But this lioness put their differences aside and adopted an infant leopard cub. The video shows the cub cuddling against the lioness and being nursed by it, as if they're real family. The lioness actually had cubs of her own, and the leopard cub was around the same age as them. According to Luke Hunter, the president of a big cat conservation group called Panthera, the lioness probably adopted the leopard cub because of her maternal instincts. The leopard cub's mother was nowhere to be seen, so the chances of survival for this cub were very low. But thanks to the lioness, the baby is alive and healthy. However, if the rest of the pride do find out that the lioness adopted a leopard cub, then they'll most likely kill it. Speaking of killing cubs, in the animal kingdom, it's pretty normal for mothers to reject their offspring because of deformities or sickness. Even though it seems very harsh, it's just the way nature works. This is exactly what happened to this dolphin with a spinal deformity that made its back curve the wrong way. This condition makes it really hard for these dolphins to swim around properly. Because of this, it was probably abandoned as a baby and was never given the love and affection it deserved. But this dolphin was seen swimming around two sperm whales, who were even showing affection towards each other as if they were family. This whole interaction was a huge deal, because sperm whales aren't known for being nice to other sea creatures. This is actually one of the first friendly interactions a sperm whale has ever had with a dolphin. Next up, this baby lamb was a special crossbreed between a white draper ram and a dorper van roy ewe, which gave it a unique spotted coat. But this coat was exactly the reason why its own mother abandoned it. After that, this Dalmatian dog took it upon herself to take care of this goat by looking after her. The dog even tried to clean and feed the little lamb herself. What makes this whole thing awesome is that both of them have black spots all over their white body. According to animal experts, that's mainly why the dog was drawn towards this lamb, because they look the same. The owner mentioned that Zoe was in season, which is why she started taking care of the lamb as if it were her own puppy right after their first meeting. In our next story, these baby opossums had a tragic beginning to their life. Their mother was killed by a dog in Rio de Janeiro. Fortunately, the babies were rescued by a dog trainer, Stephanie Maldonado. But since the babies were so young, she didn't really know what to do. Without their mother, the opossums weren't looking so good, and they needed her milk. But then Maldonado's dog came to the rescue and began nursing the opossums. According to the dog trainer, her dog sensed that these opossums were in need and took it upon herself to care for them. After she nursed them, the opossums regained their strength and were able to properly move around again. They're inseparable now and even climb all over her body as the dog is taken out for walks. Once the opossums are old enough, Maldonaldo says she'll return them to the wild so they can live the life they truly deserve. In this heartwarming story, the Shamwari Wildlife Rehabilitation rescued this lost elephant calf back to safety. The calf's mother died after she fell off a cliff. What made things even worse was that the baby elephant was only six months old, so it needed a companion. When this calf first came to its new home, it was pretty nervous and afraid of everything, which is normal for elephants. So the rescuers decided to introduce it to Albert the sheep. While Albert wasn't exactly the happiest to meet the elephant, they still started running around like friends. This helped the elephant adjust to its new surroundings more easily. Plus, the elephant could finally chase something around, and Albert is able to run a lot faster, so no one needs to worry about him getting squashed either. They got along really well and started taking naps together, eating together, and doing basically everything together. In another beautiful story of companionship, a couple, Ronan and Emma, decided to get fertilized duck eggs for their farm. Once the eggs hatched into ducklings, they started roaming around everywhere since that's just what ducklings do. But things started getting stressful for the couple when they couldn't find the ducklings anywhere on their farm. Fortunately, after a while, 
Ronan found them, running towards a shed. However, Ronan knew an adult cat lived there, and when he saw the ducklings going there, his heart dropped. He was preparing for the worst, and was convinced that the ducklings were probably going to get eaten by the cat. A little while later, the cat came out with one duckling in her mouth that Ronan and Emma thought it would eat. But they noticed that the cat wasn't holding the duckling with any force. They then realized that all of the ducklings were following the cat around, as if it was their mother. All of them started nursing and cuddling with her, and the cat was grooming them too. Apparently, the cat had given birth just a few hours prior to her own batch of kittens, and still had those mothering instincts when she saw the ducklings. So, chances are she would have eaten the ducklings if they showed up just a few hours beforehand. You may have heard of Coco the Gorilla, known as a legend for being able to communicate with humans through sign language. Coco knew over 2,000 English words and communicated with her trainer for anything that she needed. She always expressed her love for babies, but wasn't able to have her own. She would even carry dolls around and pretend they were her own children. So, on her 44th birthday, her trainer, Francine Patterson, decided to give Coco a litter of kittens. When Coco saw the kittens, she immediately picked them up and started stroking them. She then signed to Patterson, Baby and Cat, which basically told her trainer that she had adopted the kittens. Coco was super gentle with the kitten, even though she had huge hands. Apparently, Coco was given a toy cat back in 1984 and was left unsatisfied because she wanted a real one. Unfortunately, just a few months later, the kitten wandered off the grounds and onto the road. It got hit by a car and was killed. When Coco learned about this, she was devastated and mourned for many days after this. She also signed, Sleep, Cat, and understood what happened. In our next story, we see this dog, Georgia, who had gone into premature labor and gave birth to puppies at a gas station. Unfortunately, the puppies were way too premature to live. Even though her shelter tried basically everything she could, the puppies didn't survive. It was obvious the mother was depressed after the death of her puppies, and nothing seemed to get her spirits up. At the same time, a litter of kittens came into the shelter. They didn't have a mother, and the shelter decided to introduce them to Georgia. Georgia accepted the kittens as soon as she saw them. She started nursing them and cleaning them like their own mother. This not only lifted Georgia's spirits, but even saved the orphan kitten's life. Alright, which one of these stories did you find the most heartwarming? Make sure to let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to TrendJoint, and hit the bell icon for more. See you around!